Watching UK professor Frank X. Walker record one of his poems for WUKY. Soldiers folded, creased, tucked, smoothed, and then folded again with such precision and care. It's obvious he has a passion for poetry. Even if we are limited to 17 syllables or, or 14 lines, we still can't cheat. We still have to try to harness that power to give people that experience because that's why they come to poetry. They come to poetry because they don't have time to go to the symphony, but they want the same experience. And if we do what we do correctly, we can give them that. It was Walker's poetry that gave birth to a literary movement that resonates outside the writing world. The word Afrolatia has, has garnered some currency in the world, that it means something to a lot of people. Also, it gives people of color who are from the region, who are from Pittsburgh and Birmingham and in between, an opportunity to claim that same space they were born in. And given the established media you know, definitions, and especially what you see in movies and on television, you know, a word like Afrolatia by itself has allowed people to say with pride that I am from this area, I'm from this region. And I don't know that I was thinking about that when I gave birth to the word in a poem back in the early 90s, uh, but I'm very proud that people have taken advantage of the word, who have claimed the word.